Literally the only good lighting in my entire house is like next to this window in my room. So this is like a really awkward angle, but I'm just gonna have to show you my tripod. That's my tripod, so you're getting some quality content. Hey guys, so as all of y'all may know, I'm like a professional artist. If you haven't seen my video where I recreated the Bob Ross painting without paint, you need to go watch it because I actually did a pretty good job. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it was kind of bad. But to be honest, I didn't have real paint and that was the whole challenge. So it looked good for the challenge, but today I thought I'd redeem myself and actually prove to Bob Ross that I am a good artist. So Bob Ross, if you're watching from the heavens above, please forgive me for disgracing your artwork and appreciate all this artwork I'm gonna show you today. So basically what had happened was, I'm trying to do an art minor in college and the first class you have to take is a drawing class. And basically in this class, you just like, draw. <laughs> I mean, by draw, we went through like different types of drawings. So first we did pencil, then we did pen, then we did color pencil, then we did markers. So it was just like a good range of stuff. And I don't know, I thought today I'd show you the 11 pieces I made because why not? If I'm allowed to show off my talents, then why not, you know? So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in order from like the first things I did all the way up to the last things. So basically the whole order of the class. But just a disclaimer, like the first pieces were introductory pieces so like they're just to get you into the mood and like start learning techniques and stuff so they're probably not that good so wait until like the middle and the end to see the really good pieces like some of these honestly i have no idea how i did it because for all of you that don't know all four years in high school i did sculpting so like play metal other thingies, you know? And doing this art minor, I was like, um, hello, I wanna do more sculpting, but there's literally only one class, which thank goodness, cause I'm taking it this semester, I'm so excited. So expect a video after this semester about all the sculpting things I made. But the first introductory basics class was, oh, you have to do drawing. And I haven't touched like pencils and stuff in like five years. So I was a little hesitant cause I was so scared that I would do really bad and everyone else would be so much better than me. But not to like brag or anything, I was like one of the best in the class. So on some of my artwork, I got like really good comments on the grade. And you know, that just made me feel so good. And also every time we finished a piece, we had like constructive criticism time where you would go up in front of the class and present your artwork. And literally every single time the teacher was like, Oh my gosh, literally, this is so good, wow. And I just felt so good about myself. Like, not to brag or anything, but I guess you could say Bob Ross will be proud of me. And one more thing, if I can access my grades, actually, let me check that right now. Darn it, I can't look at my grades anymore because it was the last semester class, so they've already removed all the grades. But basically, this was his grading system. So he would start you off at an 89 flat, and that would be like borderline A. And you would go up and down based on how well you perform in future projects. So obviously, considering all the good feedback and stuff I was getting, I was getting like really good grades. So then he would have like different levels, like 91 was considered above average. And then you had like 93, which is really good. And then you have 95, which is like, Phenomenal, like literally insane artwork. And then he said he gave out like 98 a few times in his life, but he said probably regrets it because you'd literally need to like draw a portrait of God to get that kind of grade. So what the general area was like 89 to 93, that was like the good stuff. 95, if you got that, you were just like, <whistles> but me with my amazing artistic talents got a few 94s and 95s. So yeah, let's just get straight into the artwork. Leave a comment down below which one of these is your favorite. I wanna know because I can't choose which one my favorite is. I mean, I have a few, I'll tell you at the end, but let's just start off with the first one. So the first one was just pencil. Like you have all your pencils and you just have to learn how to shade. So basically you just have this chart and it has all the different pencils and then all the different percentages. So, you know, honestly, this was our only pencil project. So I was like, 
why do we even have to learn how to do pencil if this is the only pencil we're doing? But I guess it looks pretty cool. The next two projects were pen. So for these ones, basically what you had to do is draw a bunch of dots and then connect them with lines to make like this abstract geometric type of thing. And these actually turn out pretty cool. So this is my first one. It's just like I made like these three points and then I connected them all and it's like this weird grid space. And then for the second one, I made this. And again, it's just like all these points connecting and they make this S. I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool, but like it's not definitely not my best artwork that I made because those ones were just like introductory. I mean, this next one is also an introductory one. So this one is one of the first ones where the teacher really complimented my work and really enjoyed it. And like everyone else did too. Like this is where they started saying that my stuff is like so much different than everyone else's. And I just have a really creative mind, which I mean, I already knew that, but I guess it's good to hear. So basically what you had to do is like create another one of these geometric pen designs, but then you would fill it in with color pencil. So my idea was to do like this weird concave line type of thing. And you'll see it in a second. When you fill in with color pencil, you have to have like the raw color pencil colors and then you had to make lighter versions and darker versions. So this is what I made and it's just like this weird thing. And here you can see it gets lighter and here it gets darker, which my professor really commented on this cause he really liked how I had color gradients that also contrasted with each other. So like here you have red to yellow, but up here you have green to purple. And then he liked how it gets lighter upwards and darker downwards because that kind of represents like going up to the sky and down to the ground, which I necessarily didn't even think about, but I guess that just subliminally came to me, which I guess represents my artistic mindset. And then everyone also really liked how this looks like it's like, coming out of the page. Like it just looks three dimensional, you know? Okay, these next two are probably my two best work from the entire semester. Like they're kind of connected, like they're both color pencil, but the first one you're supposed to do black and white color pencil. And then the second one you're supposed to do like full color color pencil. So obviously here you're gonna see more of my creative mindset, like how I did something completely different from the rest of my class and it paid off cause everyone loved it. So for the superhero, everyone did like Thor, Batman, man, you know, like the basics, but I thought I'd do something a little more, I don't know, quirky if you'd call it. I don't know why I still use that word. That word is so cringy. Okay, but anyway, so I have no idea how I managed to complete this drawing. Like everyone thought I just printed out a picture. And honestly, I would think the same thing if I saw this, but I did the Silver Surfer. Are you kidding me? Look at that. I can't even believe myself that I made this drawing. Like, this is color. You've gotta be kidding me. Are they seriously mowing the lawn now? No! Oh my gosh. Okay, as I was saying before, my neighbors rudely interrupted me. Actually, I forgot what I was saying. I don't know, whatever. Well, you know, I made this and I don't know how I made it. This is legit color pencil. Like if you go really close on it, you can kind of see. This took me so long and it hurt. So yeah, that one's pretty good. And then we move on to, oh my gosh, this one. Okay, this one is a whole nother story. So this was our first like full color pencil drawing and you were supposed to do a person, like any person you wanted. And like my other pieces, I wanted to be unique. And I didn't just want to draw a person. I wanted to draw a crazy person. And the craziest person I know is Lady Gaga. And we all know that look of her where she has like paint all over her face and it just looks so good. And I thought that was the perfect thing to do for like a full color drawing because you just get to mess with all the colors. But the twist with this artwork, oh my goodness. So we had to use this special paper. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like grid paper, but the squares are so small. And the whole premise of the project was to fill each square individually. This project made me lose my mind. Like every project before this was a week long. You had one week to finish your project and then turn it in. This one in the past, it's been taking people so long, like no one could finish it in a week. So they extended it to two weeks this semester. But even then, literally no one in my class was finished. So 
it became a three week project. And this project hurt because filling in each one of these tiny squares individually is so painful. But nonetheless, this color pencil like turned out amazing and mine's the like cardboard that it's on. It's on a piece of cardboard because it's supposed to look rustic, like a work in progress. So this is what it looks like. There's Lady Gaga for you with her paint face. So I actually have the original picture. This is the original picture I referenced off of and this is my color pencil drawing. So, I mean, it looks pretty good and not gonna lie. This is one of my favorites also. Here's what it looks like close up. I think now you can see all the details and all the little squares that I had to put in individually, which was not fun at all. It definitely paid off. This is a really good work of art. So this next artwork was the last color pencil drawing and I actually really like this one. I've always seen videos like these on Instagram where it's like people do hyper realistic images and it's usually of like glass. So that's what our teacher wanted to do. And when I first heard this, I was like, there's no way I'm going to make this look good. Like he wants me to draw glass with some kind of drink in it. And I thought he was insane. Like, how am I going to do this and like actually make it look good? Well, I did it and it actually looks real. Like I did not estimate that I would be able to do this. So I did this martini glass and I mean, it's basically what you see. Like it's a martini glass and the drink is like spilling outwards. I don't know how the drink would spill upwards, but it looks cool, so I drew it. I don't know, I think this one looks really good. Like, look at all the details in the liquid. I just think it looks really good. I'm really happy I was able to do this. Okay, now we move on to something I really didn't know I would be able to do. Like, okay, you'll see the first one, it kind of sucks, and then it gets better from there, but... These ones are all marker drawings. Now, before this class, I would have never thought I would touch markers in my life. Like, I mean, we've all used like Crayola markers and stuff, but these are like professional alcohol-based artist markers. And they're no joke, they're hard to use. I thought this was where my downfall would be because I've never used these markers before and we just jumped into them. Like first project, you have to do a full picture and you didn't even get to test out the markers or anything. So these last four are like a series, if you will. We had to do the four elements. So the first one is fire, the second one is water, the third one is wind, and the fourth one is earth. So you just had to draw basically anything resembling those themes. So the first one was fire and I found this really cool picture of a flower burning. So that's what I did. That kind of sounds very emo of me like I don't know what that represents but I drew it and actually looks pretty cool but it's kind of bad at the same time so I don't know it was my first time using markers so take that into consideration like I know here you can see it's so streaky and ugly and the flower necessarily doesn't look real but the fire doesn't look too bad I mean this neon orange does not look that good but the rest it's not bad for my first drawing, you know? So the next one was water. This is where I started to get more confident in the marker aspect. And this is what it looks like. I drew this lighthouse with waves crashing into it. And it actually looks not that bad, especially this part. I think it looks really good. The water part, I mean, it could be better. I don't know how to fix it, but you know, this part looks really good and the lighthouse itself looks really good. So I'm happy with that. Okay. Okay, the third one, this one was by far my favorite out of all of the marker drawings. Like this turned out so good. The theme was wind. And I honestly struggled finding what I wanted to do with this one. I know everyone was gonna do leaves or like kites and stuff like that. So obviously I didn't wanna copy that and I wanted to do something way more unique. And I found this really cool image of like a silk blanket blowing over someone's face. And this just looks beautiful. Like, look at that. Are you kidding me? Like when I finished this, I was speechless. Like I finally did something good with markers. And I don't know if you can't see it, there's a face right here. And it's just like a blanket blowing over this person's face. And 
I really like how this one turned out. So I might frame this one and like put it in my future house. And this one is the last marker drawing. It was Earth. Honestly, this one kind of sucks. I just wanted to get it over with. Like this is the last project. I just want to be done with it. And I chose something really easy. I'm sure all of y'all know of the classic windows background. I'll put it up on the screen here. It's basically just like these hills and clouds. So I thought that was like pretty represented of earth in a modern way. So that's what I did. I drew the windows background and it doesn't look too bad. It actually looks pretty good, but this one did not take me a long time. Like I just wanted to get this over with. So I just like threw up marker on a board and called it a day. But yeah, those are all the drawings I did in my class this year. If I would have to choose favorites, I definitely choose this one, this one, and this one. Like I think those all captured the peak of my artwork in this class. But yeah, I'm done with this class. I learned a lot. I struggled a lot and now I get to take another art class where I get to do all of that over again. Comment down below which one of these is your favorite and I guess subscribe if you want to. I don't know. I guess that's it. So I'll see you next week. Peace.